Okay, so for this problem, we need to determine all solutions in vector form for ax equals 0, where a is this matrix, 2 and 5, minus 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 3. Um, so we need to start by putting this matrix into reduced row echelon form. So I'm going to start by switching these two rows. Um, so I get that one in the top left-hand corner. All right, now I'm going to take this first row uh, and use that to get zeros in this spot and this spot. So I like to write what I'm doing on the side. For row two, I'm going to uh, add it to row one because that negative one and one will make zero. And for row three, I'm going to subtract two times row one. So run, row one stays as one, one, three. Add these two together, you get zero. These two together, you get two. These two together, you get two. Three minus one is two. And two minus one minus one is zero. One minus one minus one again is negative one. And five minus three is two. Minus two again is negative one again. Okay, so I can see that row three is a multiple of row two, so I can just subtract out um, row three completely, and I can divide row two by two to get ones. Right, so row two becomes one half row two, and row three minus, I'm just going to say minus row two, even though it's minus a multiple, but you understand. Um, so this is 1, 1, 3, this is 0, 1, 1, and again, I just subtracted a multiple of row 2 to get rid of row 3, so that's zeros now. Okay, now I need to get rid of this 0 in this spot right here, so I will do that by taking row 1 um, minus row 2. Um, so 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0, 3 minus 1 is 2. And row 2 stays as it is, 0, 1, 1. And row 3 is all zeros. OK, now the matrix is in reduced row echelon form. I'm going to assign um, x3 to be equal to t. And from there, I can solve um, my x1 My x1 plus 2t equals 0, so x1 equals minus 2t. My x2 plus t equals 0, so my x2 equals minus 2t. And my x3 equals t. So I'm going to move over here. Uh, we need to put it into vector form. So my vector will look like x1, x2, x3 as a vector is equal to x1 is minus 2t, x2 is minus t, x3 is t. And we can factor out a t just to get it looking nice. We get t times the vector minus 2, minus 1, 1. So there you have it.